Right, ladies and gents, here we see uh, the back of me, uh, me Bergen. Right, uh, here is the MOD um, mesh. See, on lots of stuff, managed to get over some. So this will be the part that goes directly against my back. Now, the inside of the Bergen, I've done, it sort of looks dusty, um, brown, um, 100D Cadora Nylon, give it a little bit more strength, a little bit more rigidity. And again, let's turn it over. And we will see that from there to there, I've done um, 24 inches, and that's going to be my back. There's a reason why there's a bit there, and there's a, a bit there. Uh, that'll come on to play later on. It's easier to cut a bit off, because I've actually sewn down that white line. That is going to be the bottom. But... Uh, it turns out I need to make it a little bit longer I've got the ability to do so when I'm happy I'll just cut down that line and that's another little tip for you especially if it's the first time you're attempt, attempting a major product I suppose building a pack is a, um, a major product um, so yeah so that's going to be the inside that's going to be the outside against me back so we need some padding and I've got a piece of roll mat here and I cut it to the exact size well, I say the exact size because remember I've got to sew this together so I do want a good sort of five um, centimetre gap all the way around and that will be the sewing bit okay that's how I'm going to sew it to um, the front and the side of the Bergen so in all honesty this will need to go inside here okay this one actually the first time I've got it in there exactly how I want it ladies and see where I've got the bit down the side that can be sewn no need to sew through too many layers even if you have got an industrial machine and if you've only got a heavy duty machine very much vital that you don't go through that so the next thing I'm going to do with this ladies and gents get it all nicely positioned and sew just two lines down there just to hold it all in place and I say um, here will be attached the shoulder straps and here is going to be the belt. Uh, remembering this is a part that's going to go against the back of my body. So the next time you see that ladies and gents, um, it should have a bit more work on it. And just to do it, the back of the Bergen, yeah, 24 inches, and that's allowing, it'll be 23, but 24 allowing for that um, bit I need at the bottom. And I've done it 16 inches wide, ladies and gents, and that's just taken off back of a Bergen that fits me comfortably again if you don't know what you're doing just go to a real Bergen that fits you and get it done so that will be the inside of the Bergen and again I've done it in the brown uh, just so I don't use too much of the uh, beige material I got because uh, there was an agreement as I said I'd only buy two metres of it no worries all of that's going to be on the inside and that's going to be on the outside ladies and gents Right ladies and gents, here we see, I um, love this material, it's the same material that David Frears um, makes his uh, pouches out of, by the agreement uh, I've got two metres of it, so I'm going to make a bergen out of it. And what I've done ladies and gentlemen, I'll just explain it to you, that's one side, that's the back, that's the top, that's the side and that's the bottom of the bergen. Now I've just marked it out so I know exactly what I'm going to be doing and what I'm going to be sewing where. If we use one side, here is going to be a zip for a zip on pouch and this thing here is going to be a pouch with a tote this is going to be the top of the bergen so I, I then can um, slide a silky saw down there or an axe and it will be um, obviously uh, sewn along the bottom so it's only open one end and that will make carrying such things as a silky saw very very easy easy to get to and they won't have no chance of falling through um, as I do with um, a normal zip on Bergen. So we'll talk about the pouches as I come to them. The back as we see here, this is the back of the Bergen. Um, this part here is going to be a satchel that will come on the Bergen and come off the Bergen as and when I went and have a secondary feature as they have a sack. Um, and again this side is exactly the same as that and as we can see here, here's the bottom. Right, this is it. Some sizes for you. Right, the Bergen height, 
and as you can see I've um, included in my dimensions uh, when you know there's going to be little um, areas there maybe five centimeters uh, seam seal allowance again so that's 15 inches wide by 23 inches long uh, and the sides are 11 inches but again that just gives me a little bit of seam sealing down the side or seam allowance down the side and obviously the back is going to be the same um, height as the sides okay so back 15 23 and the side is 11 inches always going to give you interest in um, measurements and interest because we're no longer part of the European Union <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen I've done some marking out uh, give me an idea of what I'll do because everything until I put the burger together will have to be done first before I turn it all inside out and assemble it into a box which is essentially what a burger is so I'll bring you back on that ladies and gents Right ladies and gents, uh, Blue Peter moment here, something I made a while ago. This will go on to any Bergen, any military Bergen, any of the uh, Carrymore series or whatever. It's got the two zips down the side, so it'll, sorry, get a bit hot in there. Um, we'll just zip up and down the sides. Um, as we see, I squared it off at the bottom, and this is going to be my shelter pouch, okay? Whatever shelter I'm using, be it a humble basher, or um, a tent. Obviously, if I'm toting it in in a Bergen, it's not going to be too heavy. Okay, um, so it will attach to the sides by um, the zips. No dramas on that. Very, not very hard to do. Obviously, just to give me the option, because I'm making it, um, two um, clips there, so I can shoulder strap this if needed. And uh, again, it's uh, sealed at the top there with two bits of Velcro. Just get it right, just make it easy to do, and then I will fold it down as many times as I need to, bring it across, and uh, that's how it joins. And uh, yeah, that's also a carry handle. In case the burger I'm using doesn't have the ability to, it has a side, has some horizontal straps on this side, which will be the outside. Um, I've done these so I could um, put 25mm webbing through there and just attach it to the side of any Bergen. Now if you imagine that's the bottom of a Bergen with the shoulder straps facing downwards uh, and the tops there, the bottoms there. So the two straps that come up and do your lid on any Bergen on the planet, they will be pushed through there and do up at the top, pushed through there and do at the top. So it's modular. I can now attach my shelter kit to any Bergen on the planet. Um, obviously as long as it's got uh, vertical straps either on the side, the top, or more, more than likely I would use this on the actual back of a Bergen uh, where the straps come over and do up at the lid. Uh, and I'm very happy with that, loving this material, loving the colour. It's got a bit of dust on it, that's from, that's from the carpet. But anyway ladies and gents, so there's one of the side pouches. Um, and this one will also be, if I wanted to attach it to the bottom of my Bergen, I will have the ability to do so as well, either by the straps or the zips. But um, that's a bit of a Blue Peter previous job. But uh, as I say, this will fit my new Bergen and also uh, my shelter kit will go in there, whatever shelter I'm using, and I can attach it to any Bergen on the planet. Right, ladies and gents, so I'll get on with a bit more sewing and bring you back. 